Bless the Lord, oh my soul. For his right hand has got to... It's Debbie in the building. Yeah. In today's video, I'm going to be making vegetable soup. Yeah, vegetable soup. You know, here we don't usually get all those vegetables that we normally used to make vegetable soup back in Nigeria. Yeah, in case you don't know, I'm a Nigerian. So, I'll be using the available vegetables here in Italy. Not all the vegetables, anyways. The ones I think that are at least close to our normal vegetables back in Nigeria, you know. That's spinach and turnip greens. These turnip greens taste a little bit like our ogo, our own pumpkin leaves. Because here they have a different pumpkin. That's why I said our own pumpkin leaves. So that's why I decided to go with the spinach and the turnip greens. Yeah, I went as far as translating the name of the <laughs> vegetable <laughs> because here they, you know, now they don't speak English, it's Italian language. So the name in Italian, I tried translating it in English to find out the name of the vegetable in English and I found out that the name is turnip grains yeah <laughs> guys so I decided to carry you guys along and show you how I usually make my vegetable soup yeah making vegetable soup can be stressful honestly because you need to wash those vegetables very well you know and then cut them before making your vegetable soup so guys but sometimes you have to forget about the stress and make yourself a vegetable soup because the body needs those vitamins and those minerals you know <laughs> yeah so guys if you want to see how i made this vegetable soup this yummy delicious vegetable soup watch till the end and if you are living in abroad you can as well try this recipe and thank me later because i know Hmm? That you will definitely type me later. <laughs> yeah, because you will enjoy it. Honestly, you will. Jokes apart, you will. Yeah. So let's get cooking. Uh -huh. Don't forget to like. Yeah, don't forget to like. Let's These are the major ingredients I'll be using. There are some ingredients that are not here, the minor ones. You will see it as I progress in the cooking. Then this is my spinach. I'm using a hard chicken. Not the soft one, the hard chicken. Then mushroom. This is the turnip greens. Turnip greens I'm talking about. Then the dry fish i'll start by washing the vegetables and cutting them i'll do that off camera so that the video will not be long this is the chicken boiling i checked it and it's soft enough so i went ahead and added the dry fish i used just salt dry pepper, onion, and seasoning cubes in cooking the chicken. This is the mushroom. I washed it, put it in the pot, and placed it on fire. The water you are seeing came out from the mushroom. So I will cook this mushroom till the water dries up. And then I'll add it in my soup. I'll show you guys when the water dries. You see, the water has dried. So I went ahead and poured it inside the other pot. The other pot where the chicken and fish is for everything to boil and cook. After pouring the 
mushrooms inside the pot. I went ahead and poured my red oil inside the same frying pan. As you can see, I've already added salt off camera. I went ahead and also added my onions. I bladed bell pepper off camera. So after frying it for some seconds, I went ahead and poured my bell peppers as you can see. Yeah. I will fry it until the excess water dries up. Yeah. As you can see, it's dead, dead, dead. And allowed it to fry. You see? After a few seconds, well, let's say seconds or minutes, <laughs> anyone wasn't checking time anyways. I went ahead and poured it inside the pot because obviously the water has dried up. Then I went ahead and stirred it. Guys, you can also use beef. For this recipe I usually use beef but right now I don't have beef in the house at the moment so I'm making do with what I have which is chicken so I added my crayfish you need a good amount of crayfish for this soup and another thing, you have to be conscious of the amount of water you put. You don't need much water in this recipe so that your soup will not be watery. Yeah. You just need a little amount of water. As you can see, there is no much water in my pot. So... After cooking for about two minutes, I went ahead and added my spinach. As you can see, I turned it very well. Can you see that? Then I went ahead and also added my turnip greens. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it well. Turnip greens. <laughs> yeah, the spelling is T U R N I P. Then greens. Then I turned it. I tested for salt. And everything is okay. Yeah, everything is okay. It's perfect. So I covered the pot and allowed it to cook for five minutes. You don't need to cook your vegetables so much so that it doesn't turn to brown, <laughs> from green to brown. <laughs> so after five minutes, I came back. And can you see that, guys? The soup is ready. That is all, guys. Can you see that? Just check out my pot of goodness. Can you see that? And this is actually the perfect consistency I like. Yeah. Who wants some? Bring your plate now. Oh. Mm. My soup is ready. First come, first serve. Bring your plate now. <laughs> oh my God. One good thing about the soup is 
you can eat it with any swallow of your choice and also with white rice yeah because my hobby enjoys it with white rice even more than swallow so guys this is my soup it's ready if you like my soup don't forget to give me a thumbs up yeah let me know what you think about my vegetable soup at the comment section bye and see you all in my next video it's time to eat yeah